Ayun, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm Tutor Jolie. Makakasama nyo ngayong hapon sa ating session. So, we are in uh, quarter two, week uh, six na tayo. So, malapit-lapit na tayong matapos. But bago niyan, bago tayo magsimula, share po sa mga kaklase, kaibigan nyo na para sa gayon ay lahat sila ay matutulungan natin. So, sana nasa mabuti tayong lahat at uh, ingat pa din po. Lalo na ngayon, tumataas na naman ang, ang COVID sa atin. So, before we start, shout out ko lang po ang aming principal, Sir Remarty de la Cruz from um, Congress Mancho de los Natividad High School, is Dio Malolos. Good afternoon, sir, at sa mga kakoteachers ko. Okay, so ngayong hapon, Ito po ay mapapanood nyo rin sa Deped Etic Unit, Deped Tayo Facebook, and then sa Deped Philippines, Deped Etic, Deped TV YouTube po. Okay, so ito din po mapapanood nyo rin po sa uh, ABC 13 at sa TV po. So kung hindi nyo po ito mapapanood ng live, sa TV po uh, mapapanood nyo rin po. Channel 13 po. Okay, so now... We are uh, March 7 tayo. We have quarter 2, week 6 na po tayo mga anak. So before we start, nais ko lang po bumati sa inyo na healthy. Happy New Year sa lahat. Sana uh, nasa mabuti po tayong kalagayan. Okay, so continue po tayo. Our topic for this afternoon is a special products. Before we start, nais ko lang din po magpasalamat sa Sock Surgeon Region sa pagpapagamit po ng kanilang module. Okay, so our objectives for this afternoon, after going through this module, we are expected to use models and algebraic methods to find the A, product of two binomials, B, product of the sum and difference of two terms, C, square of a binomial, D, cube of a binomial, and E, product of a binomial and a trinomial. So, before we start, okay, so what I know, choose the letter of the best answer to give the, to the given question. So, chat po. Uh, yung sagot na lang sa chat box natin. Okay, sa comment section po natin. So, the question for number one, what is the product of quantity x plus 5 quant uh, multiplied to quantity x plus 3? Again, number one, what is the product of quantity x plus 5 multiplied to quantity x plus 3? A, x raised to 2 plus 8x plus 15. B, x raised to 2 plus 8x minus 15. C, x raised to 2 minus 8x plus 15. And D, x raised to 2 minus 8x minus 15. So, titignan ko po mga anak. Okay, so good afternoon sa lahat ulit. Uh, kung... Mahaba-haba po ang discussion natin ngayon. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? What is the product of quantity x plus 5 multiplied to quantity x plus 3? So the answer is A, x raised to 2 plus 8x plus 15. Number two, what kind of special product does the model on the right represent? Again, what kind of special product does the model on the right represent? represent. Okay, so A, cube of a binomial, B, square of a binomial, C, product of two binomials, D, product of the sum and difference of two terms. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo ang sagot, mga anak? Paki-comment po sa, sa uh, comment section natin for number two. Thank you for your correct answer. So, mga anak, for number two, what is the answer? Sige po. Okay. So, the answer for number two is B, square of A binomial. Okay po. So, we have number three. 
what is the product of quantity x plus 4 multiplied to quantity x minus 4? Again, number 3, what is the product of quantity x plus 4, quantity x minus 4? A, x raised to 3 plus 8. B, x raised to 2 minus 8. C, x raised to 2 plus 16. D, x raised to 2 minus 16. Okay, ano po kaya ang sagot for number 3? Thank you for your answer for uh, number 2. How about number number 3? What is the product of x quantity x plus 4 multiplied to quantity x minus 4? So the answer is letter D. Yes, thank you for your answer. Next, number 4. Which of the following expression is equal to quantity... 34 multiplied to quantity 26. Again, which of the following expression is equal to quantity 34 multiplied to quantity 26? A. Quantity 30 plus 4 multiplied to quantity 20 plus 6 divided by 2. Number uh, Letter B. Quantity 30 minus 6 multiplied to quantity 30 plus 6. Letter C. Quantity 30 plus 4 multiplied to quantity 30 minus 4. And D, quantity 40 minus 6 multiplied to quantity 20 plus 6 multiplied to quantity 40 minus 20. What, ano po kaya ang sagot for number 4? Which of the following expression is equal to quantity 34 multiplied to quantity 26? Sige po, comment po kung ano po yung sagot. Okay, tingnan po natin kung letter C po. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C for number 4. Very good for the uh, correct answer, mga anak. How about number 5? Which of the following is the expanded form of quantity A plus 1 raised to 3? Again, which of the following is the expanded form of quantity A plus 1 raised to 3? We have A, A raised to 3 plus 3A raised to 2 plus 3A plus 1. B, 3A raised to 3 plus A raised to 2 plus A plus 1. Letter C, A raised to 3 plus 1 and D, A raised to 3 plus 3. Sa tingin nyo po, ano po mga anak yung sagot? Which of the following is the expanded form of quantity A plus 1 raised to 3? Okay, tingnan ko nga po kung, kung tama po. Okay, for number 5, ayan, may mga sagot na. Tingnan natin kung sino po yung tama. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. That is kung A raised to 3 plus 3A raised to 2 plus 3A plus 1. Okay, so what is it? Special products. A, product of two binomials, product of sum and difference of two terms, C, square of binomials, D, cube of a binomial, E, square of trinomials, and F, uh, special case, product of a binomial and trinomial. So, medyo mahaba-haba po ngayon yung discussion natin. So, focus po tayo, ano, mga anak, para hindi po tayo malilito. Okay, iga-guide ko kayo. Okay, so, try natin. Find the product drill tayo. Find the product of each of the given pairs of binomials. Number one, quantity of x plus 3 multiplied to quantity x plus 5. And the next one, number two, quantity of 3y plus 4 multiplied to quantity 3y minus 4. Try natin, number one. Okay, so we're going to simplify. So we have, okay, so cx plus 5, quantity x plus 5, I multiply natin doon kay x, quantity x plus 3. So, the first one that we're going to do, okay, so, I multiply natin kay x, si x plus 5. So, we have x well, multiply to quantity x plus 5. Then, yung 3, I multiply natin, okay, plus 3. 
multiply to quantity x plus 5. Then after that, we're going to simplify. Okay, so x times x, that is x raised to 2, x times positive 5, that is plus uh, 5x, then plus, copy natin yung plus sign, then 3 times x, that is 3x, plus 3 times 5, that is 15. Then after that, we're going to combine like terms or same terms. So kung nakikita nyo, naka-highlight ng red po yung same term. So we have 5x and 3x. Ang gagawin po natin, i-add lang po natin silang dalawa. So we have so, x raised to 2 plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. Ito po yung same term. So, we're going to add. So, copy natin. x raised to 2 plus 5x plus 3x, that is 8x. Then, copy na lang natin si 15. So, this will be the answer. Okay, so the answer for quantity x plus 3 multiplied to quantity x plus 5, that is x raised to 2 plus 8x plus 15. Next, we have number 2. Okay, same process po. I multiply natin si 3y, uh, quantity 3y minus 4, doon sa quantity 3y plus 4. So, uh, simplify natin. So, 3y multiply to quantity 3y minus 4 plus, okay, so 4 times quantity of 3y minus 4. Then after that, we're going to simplify. So, we have 3y times 3y, that is y. Uh, 9y raised to 2. Kasi matik po yan na yung y natin ay may exponent po yan na 1. Okay, so 3y multiply to negative 4, that is negative 12y. Then plus, copy lang yung sign sa gitna, 4 times 3y, that is 12y. Then 4 times negative 4, that is negative 16. Then after that, sabi nga natin kanina, simplify natin, oh, we're going to combine, okay, yung same po na term. So we have this one. So copy natin, 9y raised to 2 minus 12y plus, okay, 12y. So kung napapansin nyo po, hindi po same yung sign nila. We have negative 12y and positive 12y. So, ang gagawin po natin, simplify ulit, we have plus uh, uh, minus 16. Then, kung ito po i-simplify natin, 0 na po yan kasi 12, uh, negative 12y plus uh, positive 12y, that is 0. So, ang sagot na lang natin, that is 9y raised to 2 minus 16. So, we are, okay, quantity of 3y plus 4 Multiply to quantity 3y minus 4, that is equals to 9y raised to 2 minus 16. Okay, ito yung mga techniques na dapat natin uh, gamitin. Okay, that we can use to multiply two binomials. A, distributive property. B, vertical multiplication method. And C is a foil. Okay. So, the first one is for method stands for F is the first terms, O, outer terms, I, inner terms, and L, last terms. So, we have, try not and multiply quantity of X plus 3 by quantity X plus 5. Okay, so we have yung X natin dito, that is our first term. Okay, so X times x, that is x raised to 2. Again, nasabi ko nga kanina, matik po yan. Meron po tayong exponent dyan na 1. So, i-add lang natin. So, we come up x raised to 2. Next. Okay. For the outer terms. Okay. So, x times 5. Ito yung outer natin. So, x times 5, that is plus 5x. Next. We have the Ayan po, outer natin. Next, we have the inner terms. Okay, so we have 3 times x, that is plus 3x. So now we have x raised to 2. The answer for our first term, outer terms natin is 5x. Then ngayon po, yung inner terms natin, we have 3x. Then we have, for the last one, is the last term. 
Okay, so last term natin is 3 at saka yung 5. So, multiply lang po natin yan. So, we have 3 times 5, that is 15, positive 15. Now, we have x raised to 2 plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. So, our answer now, kasi po, sabi nga natin, okay, we're going to combine like terms. So, i-add lang po natin. So, x raised to 2 plus 8x kasi 5x plus 3x, that is 8x plus 15. Next, we have, okay, so multiply natin quantity of x, okay, x minus 5. Multiply to quantity x plus 5. That is the product of the sum and difference of two terms. Okay. The general formula for that is quantity of a plus b multiply to quantity a minus b. So, ang kalalabasan niya ay, ay a raised to 2 minus b raised to 2 is derived using the previous technique which is FOIL method. Okay. So, we have, okay, so, I derived natin. We are going to multiply. Okay, quantity A plus B multiply to quantity A minus B is equals to A raised to 2 minus AB plus AB minus B squared. Then, okay, so, we have A raised to 2 minus AB plus AB Minus B raised to 2. Okay. So, bakit po kinansal natin o uh, tinanggal natin siya? Dahil diyan po, if we are going to combine, 0 na po iyan. So, ang kalalabasan po, that is A raised to 2 minus A raised to 2 minus B raised to 2. Okay. So, ito po. We have the example x minus 5, quantity x minus 5, multiply to quantity x plus 5. We are going to uh, apply the formula po dito. Okay, so square natin. Ang sabi dito, we are going to the formula, formula natin na quantity a plus b, multiply to quantity a minus b, is equals to a raised to 2 minus b raised to 2. So, na-simplify na natin to, na-derive na natin. So, ang sabi dito, we are going to square the first term. Okay? So, square natin yung first term. So, that is, ang first term natin is x. So, square lang natin. So, that is x raised to 2 minus 5 uh, quantity 5 raised to 2. Then, simplify natin. So, x raised to 2, that is x raised to 2 minus 25. We're going to multiply by itself 5 times 5, that is 25. Now, the answer for quantity x minus 5 multiplied to quantity x plus 5 is equals to x raised to 2 minus 25. Okay, ito po yung formula natin ha. Ito po yung gagamitin natin. Example number one. What is, what is the square of the binomial? 3x plus 4. Okay, square of binomial na tayo. So, the square of a binomial, quantity a plus minus b raised to 2 is the answer when one multiplied a binomial to itself, just like in the sum and difference of two terms. We will use FOIL method to derive a formula for the square of a binomial. Okay, continue tayo, square of a binomial. We have, okay, so quantity A plus B multiplied to quantity A plus B. So, uh, it derive natin na naman, oh, it's simplify natin. So, A raised to 2 plus AB plus AB plus B raised to 2. Ito po yun, A times A, that is A raised to 2. Then, uh, A times B, that is AB plus AB. Then, okay, so B times A, that is AB again. Then B times B, that is B squared. Then AB, A raised to 2. Okay, so kung napapansin nyo, 
same term yun. So, we are going to combine. Okay, so we have A raised to 2 plus, i-add lang natin kasi like terms sila. Okay, A, B, uh, positive A, B plus positive A, B, that is 2 A, B. Kasi 1 plus 1, that is 2, copy po yung uh, coefficient natin. So, we have plus B raised to 2. Okay, so the next one is quantity A minus B multiplied to quantity A minus B. So we have A raised to 2 minus AB minus AB plus B raised to 2. Paano naman nakuha ito? So we have A times A, that is A raised to 2. Then A, okay, positive A multiplied to negative B, that is negative AB. Then next one, inner tayo. So, negative B multiply to positive A, that is negative AB. Then, next one, the last term. So, yung last term natin, negative B multiply to negative B, that is plus B raised to 2. Okay, then we're going to combine. So, kung natandaan nyo again, okay, same term tayo. So, A raised to 2 minus AB minus AB plus B raised to 2. Then, okay, so pagsasamahin natin, so ang sabi ko nga kanina, we have, we are uh, combined, so negative AB plus negative AB, that is 2AB. Matik po, may 1 po yan sa unahan nila. So, A raised to 2 minus 2AB plus, okay, B raised to 2. We're going to apply, okay, so X Quantity 3x plus 4 raised to 2. I-apply na po natin. Okay po, thank you for watching. And continue po tayo. Okay, so we have, okay, quantity 3x plus 4 raised to 2 is equals to, we're going to simplify. So first term natin, ang sabi dito sa formula natin, ito po yung guide natin. Ang sabi po, we are going to square the first term. Then, twice the product of the two terms plus square the last term. So, ito po yung susundan natin. Okay? So, sabi dito, we're going to square the first term. So, ito po yung first term natin, yung 3x. So, isi-square natin. Then, ang sabi dito, twice the product of the second term at product of the two terms. So, ito yung uh, two terms natin, yung 3x at saka 4 so, 2 times 3x times 4. Then, after that, ang sabi po, square the last term. So, yung last term natin sa given natin is 4. So, we are going to square the last term. So, we have 4, quantity of 4 raised to 2. Then, after that, simplify na po natin. So, we have 3x raised to 2. That is 9x raised to 2. Then, we have 3x times 4. That is 12x. Multiply natin sa 2 plus 16 kasi 4 times 4, that is 16. So now, the answer for three uh, quantity 3x plus 2 squared is equals to 9x raised to 2 plus, kasi bakit naging 24, 2 times quantity of 12x, okay, that is 24x plus 16. So that will be the answer. For number 2 example, uh, expand natin. Quantity x minus 3 raised to 2. Okay, so we simplify again. Okay po, so ano lang natin? Okay, so susundan lang po natin yung formula. Nandito po sa baba. So ang sabi again, square the first term, then twice the product of the two terms, and then square the last term. So, we're going to square the first term. Ito yung first term natin, ang x. Then, our uh, second term is negative 3. So, first, we're going to square the first term twice the product of the two terms. So, 2, ibababa lang natin yung exponent. So, 2, na, uh, 2 times x times 3 plus negative 3 raised to 2. Then we have, okay, so then after that, simplify natin. So we have x raised to 2 is x raised to 2. Then x 
times 3, that is 3x, multiply to negative 2, that is negative 6x. Then, okay, square natin, negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. So, this will be the answer, x raised to 2 minus 6x plus 9. Okay, so illustrate natin, expand natin, okay? Grid the method may also be a great way to illustrate this formula. Okay, try natin. Expand natin yung quantity x minus 3 raised to 2. So, ito yun, okay? So, we have, okay, times natin ha? Okay, so x times x, that is x squared. Okay, so uh, inano lang natin, pinlat lang natin dito, eh, titingnan natin kung saan kaya madad, na, nadadalian. Okay, so uh, same pro, uh, magkaiba ang process pero same po yung sagot natin. Okay po, so continue lang natin mga anak. Okay, alam ko na susundan nyo yung topic natin this afternoon. Okay, x times x, that is x raised to 2. Okay, kasi sabi ko nga kanina, ba? So, we have the exponent here. So, matik po yan, i-add lang ninyo pag multiplication. Okay, so next. Okay, so x, nandito na tayo, x raised to 2. Then, we have negative 3, multiply to x, that is 3x. Then, we have, okay, so ito naman. So, x times negative 3. That is negative 3x. Then we have, okay, so negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. So, yun na po. So, we are going to expand. So, nakuha na natin. Then, okay, ito yung like terms. So, we have like terms natin, negative 3x, negative 3x. Combine natin. So, we have, so... A quantity of x minus 3 raised to 2 is equals to x raised to 2 minus 6x plus 9. Kung napapansin nyo po, magkaiba ng uh, technique na ginagamit natin, pero same po yung sagot. ba po? Okay, thank you po. Malinaw. Okay po, uh, sundan nyo lang mga anak. Okay, cube of binomial. So, sa D na tayo, cube of binomial. So, we have the cube of binomial, A, quantity A plus minus B raise, uh, cube can be expressed as the product of a perfect square trinomial, A raised to 2 plus minus 2AB plus B raised to 2 and its linear factor, quantity A. One, okay, quantity A plus minus B. Okay, by actual multiplication, we get, okay, so quantity A plus B cubed is equal to quantity A plus B squared, okay, multiply to quantity A plus B. Okay, so that is, Okay, yung quantity natin, A raised to 2 plus 2AB plus B raised to 2, then multiply to A plus B. So, makukuha natin, and multiply natin to. So, we have A raised to 3 plus, okay, so then, and multiply natin to. So, 2A raised to 2, ito po yun. Okay, ito po siya. So, that is 2A raised to 2B plus, okay, so, then, ito po, i-multiply natin dito. So, that is A, B raised to 2. Plus, okay, so yung B, multiply natin. Okay, second term na tayo, mga anak ha. B times A raised to 2, that is A raised to 2, B plus, okay, B times 2AB, that is 2AB squared plus, okay, B times b squared, that is b cubed. So, quantity of a plus b cubed is equal to a cubed plus, okay, so, ito. Okay, so, 3a 
3a raised to 2b plus 3a raised 3ab raised to 2 plus b cube. Okay po. Okay, ito po yun no, ito. Kaya naging 3, i-add lang natin. Ito. Si 2a raised to 2b plus 8 raised to 2b, i-add natin. Then ito po. Kaya naging 3a raised to 2b plus ito. Okay? So ito po 'yon at saka ito. Kaya naging 3ab squared. Okay, translating into a much explicit equation, the cube of binomial quantity A plus B is the sum of the four terms where each term can be obtained as follows. Okay, the cube of A tries the product of two, uh, A raised to 2 and B tries the product of A and B raised to 2. The cube of B. Okay, ito po yun. So, quantity of A plus B raised to 3 is equals to, ito po yun, cube of A plus tries the product of A raised to 2 plus B, then tries plus tries the product of A and B raised to 2, and tries, and the last one is the cube of B. Ayan po yan. Okay, then we have quantity quantity of A minus B raised to 3. Okay, so A cubed minus 3A squared B plus 3AB squared minus B cubed. Ang pagkakaiba lang po nila, yung una po is positive. Yung pangalawa po is negative. Okay, so we're going to uh, expand. Uh, quantity of x minus 6 cube. Okay, so formula natin. Okay, sundan lang po natin mga anak. Quantity of a minus b raised to 3 is equals to a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cube. Okay, so we have a cube natin. Okay, so x cube minus okay so 3 3 x squared ito po yon okay ito yon yung a natin okay 3 x squared times 6 ito po yung b natin tandaan ito yung a ito yung b then plus okay we have 3 times okay x times 6 Yung B naman natin, yung is squared natin, 6 squared minus 6 cube. Then we have, simplify na natin. So we have X cube minus 3 times 6 multiplied to quantity A X raised to 2 plus 3 times, kasi ito po, kasi 6 times 6 is 36. So 3 times 36 X minus a 6 cube. Then after that, simplify natin. So we have x raised to 3 or x cube minus 3 times uh, 6. This, that is 8 and x raised to 2 plus okay, 3 times 36. That is 108x minus 6 cube. That is 216. Okay, so square of a trinomial. Okay, ito na po. Bakit trinomial? Tatlo po to, ha? Mga anak, A, B, and C. Okay, so A times A, that is A squared. Then we have... Okay, read the method could, okay? Again, be a great way to illustrate this formula. Okay, so... Pinlat lang natin sa ating uh, square. So, we have ito yung first A, pos uh, positive A, positive B, positive C. Tapos dito yung another one. Kasi nga, squared siya. So, dalawa sila. Dalawang set po yan. So, A, positive B, positive C. So, A times A, that is A squared. Again, 
B times A, that is AB. Then, we have C times A, that is AC. Okay, sa B na tayo, sa second term na tayo. So, we have A times B, that is AB. Then, we have B times B, that is B squared. Then, we have C times B, that is BC. Okay, last term tayo, yung C. A times C, that is AC. Then, we have B times C, that is BC. Then, we have C times C, that is Okay, C squared. Okay po. So, now, tapos na tayo na, na ano na natin, na simplify na natin. Okay? So, we have, okay, expand natin, simplify and combining like terms. Okay? Iko-combine na natin yung like terms. So, ito yun. Okay? So, una natin, isimplify natin yung squared. Okay? So, we have A squared. Okay? A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Iyan po sila. Okay? Ma uh, then, after that, okay? So, we have another one, A, B, A, B. So, we have 1 A, B, 1 A, B, that is plus 2 A, B. Then, after that, okay? And the last one is A, C. Okay po? Combining like terms pa rin tayo ha. So, plus, dahil dalawa yan, so, we have plus 2AC. Okay. So, therefore, quantity A plus B plus C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus 2AB plus 2BC plus 2AC. Ito na po yung pinaka-formula natin. Okay po. Okay, expand natin. Quantity x plus 2y plus 3z squared. Okay, so we have. So, squared natin. Susundan natin yung formula, ha? Mga anak. So, first, we're going to square x raised to 2 plus b 2x raised to 2 and plus 3z raised to 2. Then, after that, okay, ang sabi dito, 2ab plus 2, multiply to mga anak ha, 2BC plus 2AC. So, 2 times X times 2Y. Ito yung A natin, ito yung B natin, ito yung C natin. Plus 2, multiply to 2Y, multiply to 3Z. Then, plus, okay, last not natin. So, 2AC. So, it, again, ito po yung uh, AC natin. A, at saka yung C natin. Kaya 2 times X times 3Z. Then after that, simplify na natin. So, X raised to 2 plus 4Y raised to 2 or Y squared plus 9Z squared plus. Okay, ito po yon 2 times X times 2Y. Kaya naging positive or plus 4XY. Then we have 2 times 2Y times 3Z. Kaya... 12, kasi 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 times 3, that is 12. 12YZ. Then, plus 2 times X times 3Z, kaya 6XZ. Okay. We have special case na tayo for a binomial and prime, pro, uh, prime qu quadratic trinomial. Okay. So, we have the example 1 and example 2. Okay. So, we have, that is, pag sinimplify natin, we have x, okay, x raised to 3 plus 27. And this one, that is 8x cubed minus 27. Okay, ito po yung formula natin kung saan natin nakuha. So, we have a minus b multiply to a squared plus ab plus B squared. Then, simplify natin. And then, uh, uh, another one, quantity A plus B multiply to quantity A, A raised to 2 minus AB plus B raised to 2. Kaya nakuha natin si A cubed plus B cubed.
cube. Okay, now. Okay, learning task natin. Tingnan natin. Find the product of the expressions found in A. Match the correct answer in B. Write only the letter of the correct answer. Sige nga, mga anak. For number one, quantity A, X plus 5, multiply to quantity X plus 1. Ano po kaya ang sagot? For this one, the answer is, yes, very good po, Kerubin. So, the answer is D. Talagang nasusundan. How about number 2? Quantity X plus 5, multiply to quantity X minus 5. Ano po kaya yung sagot? Okay. So, for number 2 is C. So, C po yung sagot. How about number 3? Quantity X plus 2 cube. Ano po kaya yung sagot for number 3? Thank you. Wow, ang galing. Thank you, mga anak. Okay, so talagang nasusundan. How about number 3? Okay, B. For number 4, ano po kaya ang sagot for number 4? We have A. So, yun po ang task natin. Okay, so once again, I'm Tutor Jolie at uh, nagpapasalamat at na subaybayan nyo sa ang topic natin na napakahaba po talaga this afternoon. Pero ngayon man, kung uh, ito po ay isave nyo, ishare nyo sa mga kaibigan nyo kasi ang special product po talaga is nalilito talaga, karamihan nalilito. So sundan lang ang formula. Ma at sanayin, hindi po nyo i-memorize, sanayin nyo po yung sarili nyo at ma makukuha nyo po talaga. Again, share po 